how to build the ultimate productivity system for 2023. First question, why do you need a productivity system? And the answer is to do the things that are meaningful for us without wasting our time and do it in more efficient way. And we don't have to put all the responsibility in our brain, the responsibility that brain is not designed for. So let's see, we have our brain and we have a system and there are some tasks that our brain designed to do like creativity, communication, relaxing, enjoyment, have a fun and also there are some things that our brain also can do but there are some systems that are designed to do them more better and in more efficient way like uh, make a to-do list, reminders, to remember a schedule, email management, to save some notes, to try to remember some notes and have our brain to remember all those things can be inefficient and can be stressful for our brain. And maybe you even don't know, but you already have been using some systems long time period of your life. For example, you are saving like phone number of your friends or your family of the people that you know in your mobile phone or in the more older times that we didn't use like mobile phones uh, we saved them in some special notepads that are designed for to like keep phone numbers and this is also a system in this video we are going to talk about five areas that you can choose for your life and your work and make them more efficiently so the applications are notion things calendar email app and instapaper i started learning software engineering by myself when i was about 15 16 years old and then i understood like if i wouldn't design some productivity system for myself i would never reach my goals and these five areas are my ultimate productivity system for 2023 follow me on youtube and instagram and let's talk about the system the first application is notion notion is all in one workspace that can be used to manage projects take notes and store information it allows you to create databases tables and lists and link them together in a way that makes sense for you notion is a highly customizable tool that can be adapted to your specific needs and preferences i've tried some different applications like evernote or apple notes but finally i choose notion because it is most comfortable for me and the most customizable actually you can use notion for a lot of things but personally me i use for my projects to track some uh, progress of my projects and allocate some information serve some documents and i don't use notion for my to-do list application i use uh, things three for my to-do list i will tell you about it after i will show you my notion system so this is my notion dashboard and here i have a reference or link to my project for example this is my uh, project my youtube channel and this is like my starting uh, i study polish language i'm improving my english language and i have references to also the, the study class notes and this is some link to my uh, google sheet and i save it here to like have a quick uh, reference to my personal finances and i can like save here some links some useful links when i click here i can go to my project for example this is my project my planned uh, courses for my youtube channel and i also like can come here and open my youtube video like uh, section and here i also have my project my channels my like some information some goals some product strategy and the cool thing is in notion that you can like track your progress that you can like put from in progress to done uh, to to-do list and here i have my projects list uh, that i'm teaching for example i am uh, like making some video, video some video on udemy for udemy platform and i save all the information or scripts here and this is my study section this is my management section where i manage my theme and this is my engineering wiki very useful thing for example i have useful commands like i use like in some of my applications and i just like have some short commands like for some fixing some issues or i am uh, also certificated technical interviewer and i have all my questions and for example tasks for some practical challenges i save all here in notion because 
it is very easy and you can save actually called snippets here and those are my documents and I save the PDFs and this is as I said like this my language notes from here this is a reference to here and this is my self-development like plan personal for me I've created some page where I wrote some like points about my personal development plan tools ideas goals if you need a video about how to make a productivity system with notion from scratch just write it in the comments and if there will be enough comments i will create a video how i like create from scratch a productivity system in notion and the second application is things Three. Things 3 is a to-do list and task manager that can help you to stay organized and focused on your goals. It allows you to create projects, establish deadlines and set reminders. Things 3 is designed to be simple but also powerful enough to handle complex projects. Personally, I use things for my to-do list, some uh, action items and for my reminders. So I have things in my uh, iPhone and in my macOS and you, there is a, like uh, three versions for iPhone and uh, iWatch, for iPad and for your Mac. So for your Mac you have a free trial uh, opportunity and for your iPhone and iPad you should download, you should buy actually. It is like $9.99 Mm, it is like 49 and 99 for Mac OS. There is a also an application Todoist. Todoist actually have some free version, but for some like fully to use to do list, you have to pay monthly. So in my opinion, you should decide like if you like things, you can just uh, buy it once and that's all. If you use uh, Todoist for regular basis, like pay the plan, you should pay monthly. And so you can choose which one is better for you. So this is my Things application. Uh, we have a section here like for today. This is my to-do list for today. For example, we can have a section. I have a shopping here. And when some shopping item is like have a deadline for today, you can put the deadlines today, can be this evening, can be separated section and can be for today. It will sh be shown here and if you will click here it shows as a down like you have uh, upcoming events it is inbox inbox is for like and uh, to put some items and then you can like make it put the deadlines put the where you want to do it and there is also session someday that you like put it in some box that you will do them some day like not as soon as possible and i have for example a travel list like for my barcelona trip as you can see those are reminders like for my check-in for check passenger details and some hotel check-in and i have an, another sections even for myself like topics uh, some appointments to go to doctor, my goals about my work. And the next one is calendar app. For my calendar app, I use just Apple calendar and my productivity system and my scheduling system is like this. I'm organizing areas. I don't do much like uh, micromanagement, like wake up in the morning 8 uh, a.m. and go to the toilet at 8.01. I put like wake up 8 a.m. morning routine, like for one hour, like for 30 minutes work workout or some shopping time and the evening routine next one is email for my email management i use uh, google's gmail i have tried uh, different applications actually for example apple mail uh, outlook but personally for me like google's gmail is most simple it's free and it has everything that i need so my inbox is always empty and i have some labels some areas for example if i click here my travel and barcelona this is uh, the emails from airbnb and like kiwi.com for my booking and here are another labels for example if i get some email that i need to categorize like by label i just drag here to its category and i can go and see here like this is a reservation email so i will put it back to barcelona the last one is a insta paper and the insta paper has an extension here like for example i open some article and I don't have time for now I want to like save it for reading later I will click here and I will see like it's saved so then I open instapaper.com and I see here the article open and as you can see you can even read it from the 
interface of instapaper.com without like opening that page and this is a very useful application to manage your article list and like never forget about reading them so in summary we understood that productivity is a system to accomplish tasks that are meaningful for us without like overloading our brain and do them in more efficient way by using some systems for calendar inbox management reminders to-do list not taking apps we can clean up some mental space for some creative and communication activities this is not only about reducing our stress but it is also about to achieving our goals in less time after watching this video you can try out the tools and techniques that you will find that can be useful for you and remember the key thing is not only to find the right tools but it is about to create good habits to follow them so if you like this video let me know about it in the comments follow me on a youtube and instagram and i will help you to achieve your goals